Okay, let's talk about the categories, petroleum-based, oils and so forth, biological proteins, synthetic dyes, organic, and other. It's always other. Organic-based stains, moving on. Coffee, mustard, wine, furniture stain, urine, tea, curry, fruit, fruit juice, chocolate, ketchup, mustard. Mustard and curry. This is French's classic yellow mustard. I see here what it says. It says it contains distilled vinegar, which is just acetic acid, water, number one grade mustard seed, salt, less than 2% turmeric, paprika, spice, natural flavor, and garlic powder. How do we get rid of this? This is one of the worst stains there is. So how are we going to get rid of that? Well, well, let's see what Pro's Choice says to do. In their stain removal guide, let's take a look and see what they have to say. I know, but I want to look this up for you. Oh, they say mustard stains are one of the most difficult stains you'll encounter. But if you have the DCI light, what I like to call the Energizer light, you'll achieve miraculous results. I'm not a salesman, so, you know, that kind of hype is a a little difficult for me to come out with, but uh, okay, we'll talk about miracles, etc. And really, that's what I want you to be, is a miracle worker. I want your customer to be amazed at what you're able to do. And they are. With these particular spotters and the techniques we're talking about here in our regular, in our, in our regular school, we want to amaze our customers. We want them to think that we are the experts. And we are the experts. If we know what we're doing, if we've been properly educated, et cetera. And I get phone calls all the time from our customers that whose, whose customer said that, you know, this stain, several other people tried to get it out with no results, and he got it out. And that's what we're after there. And by the way, I'm here most of the time. Yeah, I work in the lab. I do videotaping. I do uh, the website. I teach and so on and so forth but frankly well over half my time is on the phone talking to folks like you answering your questions taking care of your problems and I like hearing from you because that's where I get most of the ideas and how I know what's a common problem and what's a rare problem it says here it's important not to apply heat other than this particular procedure and the performance of this procedure is going to vary depending on four things. The type of mustard or stain, what previous treatments have been made to the spot. Well, I don't think that's just mustard. That's anything. A lot of our results are going to depend upon what else has been used on it, how old the stain is, and what technique you're going to use. If we're going to use the DCI light, thoroughly extract and rinse the stain to get rid of all the mustard. At the very least, that's going to soften it up. We saturate, that's a big word. I want you to be sure to understand what I mean by saturate. It means get the backing wet. Saturate with the stain magic, cover the stain with the DCI light, let it work on it until the stain disappears. Time, how long? 30 minutes if it's not too bad. Overnight if it's extremely severe. If you don't have a DCI light, well, Shame on you if you don't. You really need this. But if you don't, you can use the steam iron. But instead of at the lowest steam setting, you're going to set it at the nylon setting. We again take our power gel. Again, that's, that's not the stuff in the yellow tube. Take our power gel solution. Remember, we dilute that 1 to 20 with water. We apply it to the stain fibers, agitate, rinse, get it dry, we apply our stain magic, cover with a damp towel, and we apply our steam heat. You better check every 15 seconds because the chances of stripping out carpet dye using stain magic and iron is pretty high. Of course, if you see the dye coming out, you better stop. Troubleshooting. If a doll didn't come out or there's just a yellow cast left, you may not have gotten all the mustard out. And, and I, frankly, with mustard, don't guarantee anything. There's a good chance you're not going to get rid of all of it. All you're going to succeed in doing is making it look a whole lot better. Don't promise anything beyond that. You may have to go to the point where you've removed some of the carpet dye itself, and then you're going to have to do some spot dyeing if you're up to that.
is what we would do if it was fresh. We would scrape it up with the uh, with the carpet shark. We are applying our undiluted power gel. We're working that in. You'll notice that the color is starting to change. Change from a yellow, kind of a reddish color when we do this. You could dilute the power gel, but I think it works a whole lot better if we use it straight in this case. We extraction rinse it. That's going to remove the bulk of it. That's really loosened it up a lot. As you can see as we're doing this class, you'll see that we're probably removing about 80-90% of the mustard. Of course, this is fresh. Saturating it with the Stain Magic. Covering it with a damp towel. Remember to check this every few seconds. This is extremely risky. Now, as I'm rinsing this out, I can see there was some color loss. Like I said, this is an extremely dangerous thing to do. You need to get a signed release and ask the customer, uh, you know, just tell them that there may be a problem. Now we're dry blotting. It's a whole lot less visible than the, the mustard itself, but again, using an iron, that can be a problem. Let's do the same thing with this piece of carpet using the Energizer light. Again, we're going to scrape it all up and rinse it out. In this case, of course, I'm showing you a film because we're going to have to leave the energizer light on it to work on it instead of our real quick and dirty approach with the steam iron. Dry blot. Of course, I'll saturate the whole area with our stain magic. Now we're going to cover it with our Energizer light. The Energizer light comes with three light bulbs. And the light bulb we're going to use for this is the Energizer light bulb, which has the same frequency as the light bulbs in your tanning booths and adds energy to the stain magic to make it more effective without having to use an iron. So we'll just put this on there overnight. Tomorrow morning we'll stop by, pick up our Energizer light, and we'll see that the stain is gone. This particular film clip, I have left that on there all night long. Pick it up the next morning. Still a little bit damp. That's what you're seeing now, not a stain. As I do a close-up, you can tell. And the stain is gone. And as you notice, the stain is gone, but we did not pull out carpet dye. 